Uh, you know how with ADHD, you, like in these funks where you just eat like the same thing constantly, like that's like your hyperfixation. This is my comfort outfit. Literally like three sizes too big, men's sweatpants, and then just this black cheap hoodie. I can't stop wearing it. Literally, you're gonna have to pry this off my cold, dead hands. I wash it, and then I immediately put it back on because it's all I wanna wear. So, if you notice me looking a little similar, it's because I'm going through a phase, and this is that phase, Mom. It's Monday. <laughs> I just got out of the shower, I just woke up. Anyways, it's now 11.03, and we're getting started for the day. I just needed to come in here and get some moisturizer because I forgot to put on moisturizer this morning. I'm literally putting everyone on to this. It is EOS 24 Hour Moisture by Lotion, Pomegranate and Raspberry. I don't like sweet scents, but when I tell you, this is so good. Go to Target and sniff it. Just go sniff it. Just experience it once. And then, let me, and then come back to this and let me know. In order to curb my anxiety, speaking on camera, I'm just gonna treat you guys like my besties. So how are we doing? That was a chaotic morning. I haven't even had coffee, would you believe it? No coffee. I'm just raw dog in life right now. It's kinda gross. I'm in a weird mood. Can you tell? I'm in a weird mood. Yesterday was a really bad mood day. I was like so grumpy. I was supposed to film yesterday, and then I woke up grumpy. I was just tired. It was the Super Bowl. I didn't wanna do anything, so I didn't. It's all about balance. Let's make a coffee. I have to text back Taylor. Let's text back Taylor and make a coffee. Bestie's been texted. Speaking of, she's been getting me hooked on iced coffee with these like reusable cubes. Game changer. <laughs> Speaking of, Taylor is finishing her first draft of her second book in a series. I'm so excited for her. You should go over and check out her page and tell her Kimberly sent you and that she says that you are amazing, wonderful, hilarious, witty, talented, beautiful, show-stopping, stunning, and definitely worthy of our pats. <laughs> right, usually I measure, but I'm not, I usually don't have the ice cubes in like first thing. But since the ice cubes are refuse, reusable, I was like, I wonder if I could freeze the whole cup. <laughs> with the ice cubes. So I've been doing chai and then dark roast coffee. This one's by Aldi. It'll have your ass up and moving. Highly recommend. It's so good. So I'm going to do that. And so you're not just like staring <laughs> at me. I will see you in a few minutes when I'm caffeinated. Let's figure out what we're going to be eating today. It's a selenite in my pocket kind of day. I'm just gonna stick it in my little pouch for safekeeping. <laughs> a new thing in my life is that I'm meditating every day. I used to really focus on breath work in the mornings, but I never truly like meditated, especially guided meditation, but I've been doing that. It's been really helping like center my energy. So since I pretty much did nothing all morning and now it's a late start, I'm gonna prioritize getting that done. I woke up at like eight and I just read in bed for two hours. I'm rereading re Lotus, which is one of my favorite books. Okay, I just got done my meditation. I did one for courage today because I've been feeling a little anxious and scared lately but it's relevant I promise she literally says the title of my book in this I was loving it like before she even said it I was like this is definitely my favorite like I really need to hear this this is resonating so well I'm gonna listen to this over and over and over again I'm gonna listen to this tomorrow morning like I was really vibing with her. She has this voice that sounds like high fantasy. Like I would love to hear her read like Lord of the Rings or something. It's very beautiful and just calming. So anyways, I was just vibing with it, having a good time. And then randomly out of the blue, she says the title of my book series. 
I love synchronicities like that, man. That's crazy. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> Baffled. Um, I don't know if I talked about this in my last video, but I actually signed up for the self-publishing course from Sarah Cannon. It's called Publish and Thrive. I'm loving it so far. I'm module two just unlocked. I'm still in module one. I've been taking it kind of slow and taking notes and just taking my time through it. It's really good. I would love to make some headway in that sometime today. And last but not least, I need to beta read. So I actually talked about beta reading previously and then I ended up never like uploading that vlog. So I guess I can talk about it briefly here. My goal at some point in the future is to take some editing courses. I would love to take the University of Chicago editing course. And that covers like copy editing, proofreading, um, as an elective and I want to choose the developmental edits. I would love to be a developmental editor for others. But to dip my toe in not necessarily editing, but reading people's manuscripts and providing feedback, I decided to get into beta reading professionally. So far I have had four clients and I absolutely love doing it and I think that it's something that I would love to continue to do, but also shift into editing at some point. So yeah, I'm just kind of like put my services up on Fiverr for super cheap and I'm just reading people's manuscripts, providing beta reading feedback and I love it. So yeah, I have a client right now. Do in a couple of days, I want to get this done as soon as possible so I can refine all of my notes and get them back to her. So I'm going to just hop onto some beta reading, get that out the way. Maybe not all of it, but I want to do at least, let's do two chapters. Side note, still thinking about the fact that Cigarettes After Sex and the 1975 announced they're going to be on tour together in London. I'm literally spending all of my time thinking about how I can get to that concert. I would do anything. Name the craziest thing you could ever think of. I will do it. <laughs> I'm going. I'm not even manifesting at this point. I know what's happening. I'm going to that concert. Nothing in the world would make me happier. Can you imagine hearing Opera House and then 20 minutes later, you're listening to Love It If We Made It. I have to go. That's all. I have to go. Interesting developments. It's 3.30. 3.30. I've done nothing but read take my headphones out. I hit my five chapter goal for beta reading. I think I'm gonna do more because I need 41, it's 41 chapters and one chapter 33. So I think I'm gonna be doing more, but because I've done so much all reading already today, I feel more motivated and creative at night. So I think I'm going to switch over to my self-publishing coursework and do that for a while, then jump back into beta reading and then we can start writing in the evening. So, back to work. Okay, good morning. It's 1 p.m., but it's morning for me. How are we doing? You guys, I did it. I did it, and when I say I, I mean me and my best friend, Tay, but let's just, we're, not, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's back up. It's February 25th. The last time that we spoke, it was two weeks ago, and I was doing beta reading projects. I did those projects. I took on two more clients. And I sent those off and that's pretty much what I've done and I didn't touch my book at all I had every intention to every day I wrote down write 1500 words on my planner and every day I did not do that I'm gonna be completely honest with you I did not do that uh, I had every good intention to though and here's why it didn't work. As we've established, I'm a plotter. I need to outline. And I was trying to skip a bunch of steps, just outline the book. I kept on telling myself if I can outline the book, then I can start writing. There was core pieces that I was just glazing over and figured I could handle as I went. And that's just not my myself whatsoever. I can't write that way. So I had my best friend Tay, who's also a writer. She's an author. I had Tay look over what I had written during NaNo. Even though it was bad and I never had someone read my writing before, I was very terrified. She was very gentle, but she was also very brutally honest. And we had the same thought process. The female main character sucks. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but every zero draft or like draft one, I always hate my FMC. And it was a problem. It was absolutely a problem. She was boring, you didn't root for her, you wanted her to die, you just wanted her to give up and just roll over and just accept her fate. Um, which is the exact opposite of what you want the main character to do. 
And the other main character is a dual POV, the love interest. He was great. Well, not great, but way better. And he had so much more potential. So, um, what day was it? Thursday? Wednesday? One of these past days, we basically just FaceTimed each other and had a brainstorm sesh. Taylor, again, thank you so much. You are amazing and so helpful and I wouldn't have been able to do that without you. Or maybe I would have, but it wouldn't have taken me as quickly as a day. It would have taken me a month. But we sat down together and we brainstormed after she'd read the book and kind of saw where I was going with everything and what I wanted to happen. And she was just like, you need to nail this, this main character. She's bland, you have nothing going on right now, what's what's happening? And we came to the conclusion that I wasn't writing her the entire opposite of what she was. Which is so crazy. I've never done that before. Really she's embracing this arc and then things just take a turn for the worse and, and I'm, I'm trying not to spoil anything. I had her naturally be the exact opposite of what she actually is in the beginning and then at the end be that person she should be starting off as that person. And then it just gets highlighted and causes problems, essentially. That was hard to explain without spoiling anything, I'm sorry. So anyways, she wasn't talking to me and characters for me are full people into my brain, which I know some people cringe about. They're like, ew, like that's such a gross author thing to say. Well, they are to me, personally. You can believe whatever you want to. But I fully believe, and I was telling Tay about this, that she just didn't want to talk to me because I was writing her wrong. She didn't want to give me her name, she didn't want to give me anything. I was writing her for 50,000 words with brackets FMC. Because she just didn't want to come to me. I didn't know her. I tried. It wasn't because of lack of trying. I tried over and over and over again and I was doing it the wrong way and she was mad. So I figured out her which helped me so much. And then obviously we all know you have to figure out your characters and flesh them out, their misbeliefs, their flaws, and all of this before you can even outline. I knew that. I thought I was, I thought I knew her. I didn't. So once we got that down, it was so much more easier to outline. And by easy, I mean nine hours. Yeah, we were on the phone for nine hours. I have a whiteboard of all of my notes and all of my scene outlines. If I was smart, I would have written them in the document as I was going along. So that way I didn't forget which Save the Cat beat sheet goes with which bracket. But I was not smart and I didn't do that. So today is taking those brackets from my whiteboard, move them into an outline document, and then I want to write. Yeah, I want to write because tea's away this weekend for a bachelor party. So I have the house to myself. I've already cleaned. I've already had a dance party. I have nothing to do. So why not write and bring you along for that journey, right? Right? So make yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and get ready. I don't know what for, but you better get ready for it <laughs> regardless. 11-11. Yeah, that's the thumbnail. Side note, I was so bored last night, I downloaded Candy Crush. Not sponsored, I'm just an idiot. <laughs>
course I start filming. And I have hiccups. That's how the day is going. For sure.